Now, is it uh, is it better to stay single? Yes. Mm. Or I mean, I know a <laughs> <is so>. <laughs> <laughs> No. I'm curious um, more for someone like Sammy who has been married. Right. And how long you been divorced now? Oh, pff, I don't even know. It's been a so years? many years. Oh, that long? Yeah. Eight Probably years? something like okay. that. Yeah. Yeah. And so you've been out on your own now for the last eight years. Yes. Um, so like you, you've seen both sides. Yes. What is better? Um, I, I That's don't, your opinion. There's not a wrong right, answer. I don't like, know that there's a better or a worse. I think it's the relationships that you choose to be in. Like I'll never choose to be in a relationship again where it's not beneficial to me, I guess, like where I feel like I'm taking care of somebody or it's more of a hassle in my life than it is yeah. a benefit. I'll never do that again. So, so what if that's are, what it becomes. It's a no go. What are the benefits of being like in a relationship as opposed to single? Well, if you have somebody that's a partner where you're working together on things and they can be helpful and you can help them in ways that you're stronger and they help you. I mean, that's what I think, I guess, overall. Now, yeah, because like Ravi talks about Mm-hmm. You know, like with the other side of things of staying single. Right. I mean, Ravi could go on. How much more do we have at the show today? I, <laughs> I mean, she could pretty much fill the rest of the show. Right. Yeah. On the benefits. <laughs> with the benefits of. With the benefits of staying single. <laughs> but it like all Ravie. falls under the umbrella of I can do whatever I want. Yeah. That's, yeah. It's all yeah. little offshoots of that. Yeah. Now, Ravi, what are the disadvantages of, of being single? Let me ask you that. What are some things you're like, you um, know what? Man. <laughs> can't feel yeah. it. Is it just the sexual stuff? Sexual stuff. <laughs> And uh, like fixing things around the house. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, that's kind of. I don't know. That seems like a gender role. Handy. You know. Jeez. Yeah. I mean, I'm not not handy, but I'm not handy enough. Yeah. Yeah. You know. I'll, I'll give you one. No one to pick you up from your colonoscopy. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I did yeah. have to yeah. scramble. Yeah. yeah. Could have had somebody right there <laughs> for to you to find a ride. That's true. Airport, <laughs> all those sort of things. Yeah. yeah. When okay. Ray went in for butt search, she didn't have anybody to <laughs> look. Pick her up. You need a butt search, and your wife can pick you up. Right. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. I, which, again, I got to schedule that. Yep. I picked her up after hers. Yeah. Hell yeah. You know? That's a good um, one, Seabass. Yeah. I th- for me, after being on, on both sides, after my you know first marriage, then being divorced, and that's the thing when you're an adult, like, and you've experienced both. Some people get married so young, and they never really experienced adult life without being married. And there's other people who went a lot of their adult life being single and then got married later, yeah. which people seem to be doing, getting married later, having mm-hmm. kids later, yeah. things mm-hmm. like that. I guess there really isn't like a, uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I see all the benefits. As someone who likes my own time schedule, right. Right. you know, what are we having for dinner? I hate that question. Uh-huh. Like, you know, and I'm, you know, I, I just, I just want to eat what I want to eat when I want to eat, do what you want to do when you want to do it. Mm-hmm. Right. There's more obligation, obviously. Keep the house clean. But I think at the end, yeah. I think at the end of the day, I think it is better actually to be not single. To be not single. Agree. Yeah, because the other part of the single thing that we always talk about when we hear these bachelor bachelorette people, man, does dating suck? <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst. It's yeah. it's constantly like it's gotten starting worse. Starting over. Yeah. And, Ulterior motives. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. now you're telling the same stories again to get to know you stories and asking the same questions to get to know you questions. Yeah. There is something nice about you know you have that person or that partner or whatever mm-hmm. and you already covered all that right that they part's that you. part's nice mm-hmm. that part's nice and then all the crazy games that get played yeah you know like at what mm-hmm. point are you not dealing with their quote representative anymore i think i told you that somebody said when you go for a job interview or you start dating somebody that's not the real person it, you're not the real person to them yet either because you've sent your representative to put your best foot forward and you know your best first impression. That's a hundred percent true. And yep. at what point does it become you know uh, the actual person? That's when like the crazy starts mm-hmm. coming out. <laughs> You're yeah. farting. Yeah, that's now, why I take your time. Because uh, I was reading this. These are from um, you know relationship experts, psychologists, and all the kinds of things. Like you know, being single can be cool, but the difference is between choosing to be single, like Ravi, and then people who are just afraid of relationships mm-hmm. or commitment. Okay. Right, so uh, people who are happily single, right, mm-hmm. um, they had these lessons from those people to see if you're not in it for the right reasons. Like uh, many who are happy or single aren't afraid of being hurt. They just have, you know, other priorities outside of finding somebody. Mm-hmm. Uh, for some, the desire to create a spiritual connection to God takes priority over seeking out a flesh-based relationship. Uh, that's hard. That sounds awful. Uh, wow. Uh, like that three sounds, people. Yeah. Yeah, right? yeah, that sounds terrible. Yeah. 
Uh, some who are single don't harbor a secret desire to have someone ride in on a trusty steed or completely change their life like in a fairy tale. They're also not worried about ending up alone. Yeah. I have no concerns about She's that. She's got cats. I got yeah. cats. Yeah, mad I have, cats. I have a niece and a nephew. Um, those who consciously choose to be single aren't pointing the finger at others for being in the situation. Mm-hmm. And uh, many who choose being single aren't making this decision because they're, you know, uh, because of any kind of past heartbreak. They're living in the present and instead of running from the past. That's what they say. And these, again, these what jackass experts. relationship? I know. This? <laughs> Dude, but what do you think relationship people do? Think about this stuff. We yeah. talk about it all the time. Like, <laughs> I forget. Like, like we're, um, well, I forget what the job was recently. We're like, that's a job? You have business cards I know, for that? right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but like if you're a relationship expert, what do you really uh-huh. do? <laughs> yeah. You just write stuff Put for these Cosmo? Put surveys out. Yeah. And they're all from <laughs> failed relationships. They're all most divorced. Most of them. Yeah. Yeah, most of them. Yeah. So what do you, I mean, what do you, what do you do all day? Like, like when you go to the office, like, that's what I want to know. Office, do you have an office? Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. What does it say? Uh, it says, Greg Gorey, relationship expert. Uh, right. What do yeah. you do all day? You sit Ow. down, you organize your desk, make sure everything's at 90 degree angles. Well, Greg. <laughs> half and, of them and then just what? clean, that's all. <laughs> half of them are matchmakers <laughs> who just hook up gold diggers with old dudes. Oh, <laughs> you know? okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's uh-huh. how they make a lot of their living. Yeah. Find rich old men. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the other half are broke because they're not doing that. Uh, some other relationship stuff. Uh, new survey 46% of men, uh, men ages 18 to 44 say their ideal relationship is not completely monogamous. Oh, yeah. And 28% of women agree. 18 to 44 year old women are still um, slightly more likely to prefer complete monogamy. About one third of 18 to 44 year old men prefer complete monogamy. And one in five adults say they have engaged in sexual activities with someone else really? without the consent of their partner. So that would be mm. cheating. cheating. <laughs> oh. That's different than you're not in a monogamous relationship. Right. You know, Open or uh, swingers or whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's different. They call it uh, ENM. I see, I've, I've seen this a lot. ENM? Ethical non monogamy. Uh, ethical ethical non monogamy. <laughs> like, hey, I'm going out tonight. Uh, yeah. Not with you. Oh. Wow, I, I've 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 noticed over yeah. the because I've been on these dating apps for some time now, that is it's a lot more common. I think that's like the don't ask, don't tell thing. With those people, there's like they kind of know what's going on, yeah, like but they don't ask. Permission. Yeah, I think I told you I know somebody uh, who you know has been married for a long time. They have that deal where they can hook up with whoever they want mm-hmm. yeah. once. Yeah. If you want to <laughs> repeat performance from that new person, you then you have to clear it with them. Oh. Say, right. hey, you know, well, imagine that conversation. <laughs> but if you're, like, out somewhere or you're doing something and there's an opportunity and this is a person, you know, who has not punched their card yet, so to speak. You run into Kate Beckinsale. Then you don't mm-hmm. need to, right. You run into Kate Beckinsale at a theater show. Uh-huh. Assuming your <laughs> yes. wife doesn't see block yeah. you. Yep. <laughs> you know, there's a chance. Yeah. Slight, but a chance. And now, let's just say that would happen. You could do that and you wouldn't yeah. have to clear with anybody. But that same goes for them. Gotta be fair. Yeah, which, you know, that is that is not a game I'm uh, willing to play. That would be a weird life. Uh, 609 saying it's pretty much impossible to feel alone anymore with the instant gratification of social media. So many people just live single and get their validation from social. True. That's sad. Um, I agree. Not single is best. This is from 714. Just celebrated my 20th wedding anniversary. <laughs> oh, babe. Oh, congrats. Congrats. Go to Red Lobster. Oh, babe. Celebrate. Oh, yeah. yeah. Red Lobster. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's your celebration. Yeah. Yeah. They got new endless shrimp. There's like yeah. some new flavor. Yeah. <laughs> There's new flavor of shrimp. Yeah, look at this. Yeah. Yeah. Celebrate yeah. your it's 20 like, years. It's like the dragon flavor. Breaking so news. With the yeah. dragon endless, endless shrimp. shrimp. Perfect for the anniversary. Yep. It's when the endless shrimp is yep. happening. Yeah. He's on. Mess is on the right track. It, yep. <laughs> It is. 20th is the shrimp anniversary. Yeah. Crispy dragon shrimp. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> That's Which what I'm talking like, about. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. 20 years. Yep. Crispy 20 dragon years. shrimp. It's like, yep. look, we're going endless crispy dragon shrimp Sweet on this delays. one. <laughs> shrimp. Yep. And some cheese <laughs> biscuits. <laughs> he gassed himself <laughs> out. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah. You hear that? Uh-huh. You heard it. He gassed himself yeah. out. Uh-huh. Just saying the words <laughs> fiery dragon, dragon shrimp, shrimp or whatever it is. Crispy. Yeah, <laughs> don't forget the crispy. Forgot to breathe is what he forgot. <laughs> yeah, they call it a new flavor drop. A new flavor drop. <laughs> <laughs>